Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you in few simple steps how to take a screenshot of your computer or your laptop. This works on all windows and you don't need to download any software for this. So right now, I'm going to be showing you in few simple steps how I'm going to be taking a screenshot of my computer screen. So to do this, so you just slide your cursor down so that this search window can come up or you can press the windows button on your keyboard for this search option to come up. And under where it says type here to search, you type snip pin, you tap, you search for snipping tool. So after typing sniping tool in the search box, under best match, you are going to see this sniping tool app. This is the software that comes default with all windows, no matter the windows you are using, whether windows 7, windows 8, windows 10, windows 11, whatever windows you are using, this software comes default with all windows. So you click on the sniping tool, you double click on it and this option is going to come up. So to take a screenshot, you click on new, but you can change the mode. The default mode is rectangular snipe. You can see the freeform snipe, window snipe, full screen snap, but I usually use the rectangular snipe. You can choose to delay also, that is optional. So to take a screenshot, you click on new. So when you click on new, you're going to see this cross sign on your screen. You take that cross sign to the edge where you want to screenshot on your screen, as you can see what I'm doing. Then you left click at the point where you want to start the screenshot from. Then you begin to drag it. You begin to drag on your, begin to drag the cursor. And when you get to the point where you want to take the screenshot complete, you the left click that you're holding, you let it be you release it and the screenshot will be taken so after taking the screenshot as you can see you come to this place that says save snipe this is how this is where you are going to save the picture It's going to save as a jpeg so you click on save snipe and it's going to take you to ask you to where you want where you would like to save your snipe so i'm just going to come and save it on my desktop so you can just create a new folder also creating a new folder on my desktop and I'll name it as snipe screen shot so I'll just open that so I've created a new folder on my desktop where I'm going to save this and it's already saved so that's how you take a screenshot of your laptop screen so right now let's go to our desktop and see the folder where we saved our image uh, so I'll just minimize this go to desktop this is the folder snipe screenshot so you can see this is the screenshot we took so um, I'll just this is the screenshot we took so I'll open with Windows picture viewer so you can see this is the screenshot we took also if you notice the name of the image it comes with a default name but you can correct this if you let's try and take a screenshot again and I'll show you how to rename your picture so you can name it with something you can find so um, i'll just go back and search so i'll just go back and search for the sniping tool again okay the sniping tool is already there so click on it we want to take a new screenshot and we'll rename it to something that we like so that it doesn't have the default name so we'll take a new so we want to take a new screenshot now so i'll just screenshot this bottle so i'll just screenshot this bottle and i've made a screenshot of it i'll click on save snipe to save the image and i'm going to rename it here as bottle or cup so you that is how to save so this is how you enter a file name for each of the screenshots that you take and I'm just going to click on save and it's going to save inside the same folder so let's check out how our new image saved in our folder so this is the new image that we saved I'm just going to open it with Windows Photo Viewer and this is the image and the name is bottle or cup so that is how you take a screenshot of your computer or laptop screen for free we didn't need any software for this except the software that comes with all windows so if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this 
and i'll see you in the next video cheers